Hi and welcome to part 12 of building CRM using Django and Vue. Today we're going to continue working on the plans. So first we're going to add some plans limitations in the front end and then we're going to make a simple subscribe to the plan page. It's not going to use Stripe yet but everything else will work. And the first thing we need to do to implement plans limitations is to go to the back end. And then serializers.py in the team app, we need to add a serializer for the plan. So first we can import the plan here. And then above the team serializer, we can say class plan serializer, pass in serializers.model serializer. And then the meta information we want here is model equals plan and then the fields oops and we want the id and the other fields we want there is the name the max leads the max clients and the price so name max leads max plans and price plans like that and then we can add it at the bottom here as well so if you just say plan equals plan serializer read only equals true and then we can append it here at the bottom like that so then when we use the function get my team we will get the information from the team because here we use the team serializer and then we need to use this in the front end as well. So in the index.js where we have this team object, we want to create three more fields here. Plan can be default empty. Max leads can default this to zero. Max client and default this to zero as well. And then we want to add some more info here as well. Three more of this. Plan. Max. Oops. Max leads. Max clients. You can store it as like this. Max leads. Max clients. Now we store all of this information also in the browser. Now we want to reset this. Plan max leads and max clients. We can default this to zero. So it's integers. And at the bottom here as well, we want to set this. So make a copy. Team plan. Team max leads and team max clients. Great. So now this should be stored in Vuex and also in the browser if we refresh and when we log out and log in, we'll store this. So a little change I think we need to make is that inside the login view I just want to test that the information we get here is correct so here where we do this I want to set uh, say console.log response.data and as you can see here we only pass in the id and the name but we want to pass in more here we can do this, it's a little bit cleaner. Plan response.plan.name response.data.plan.name max leads response.data.plan.max leads and max clients response.data.plan.max clients clients like that so now I can go here and I can log out okay, so I get an error 
it's from the back end. Field max plans is not valid for model plan. Max plans, no. Max clients, of course. Refresh, the error is gone, great. So then I can log out and log in again. Code at code.com. But if I now see in the console log here, you'll see that we have the plan object here with the ID, the max clients, max leads, and the name. And this is the current plan for this team. Perfect. So then we know that we have this information and we could show it here in the team page. So let's do that. Just so that we know what plan we are on. So in team.view, we can show this information here. Just add an HR. We can actually add two just to separate this a little bit. P strong plan. And that one should be store.state.team.plan. I think it's correct one. Close that P. Yes, plan free. P strong max clients. Store.state.team.max clients. Make a copy of this. Rename clients to leads and max leads. Perfect. So now we have that information here. So now if I go to the leads page or the clients page, if you have more than five clients, I want to hide this button and then show a notification instead. So if I just copy this and then I can go to the leads page. And then here I can say template v if, or I can just add this v if to this button. V if, if this number is greater than the number of leads we have for this team, then we need to create a new variable called num leads. We can default this to zero, but here in get leads, where we get the leads from the back end. Since we use this for filtering and similar, I think we need to do this two times actually. So if I just make a copy of this, paste it here, like that, and then I can remove the pagination and filter from here. And then I want to just console log this because I want to see what we get from the back end. If I go to leads and just refresh, you see that I have this count five. That means that we have five leads for the for this client. And then I can say this dot num leads equals response dot data dot count. And then we automatically hide that button there. Perfect. And that means that the limitation for the leads is now working. But when we reach the limit, we want to show a button or a notification here. So div class notification is dangerous. It's a red notification. V else. So just show this if this is not rendering. You have reached the top of your limitations. Please upgrade. So now we see this instead of the button. Perfect. And then we want to do the exact same thing for the clients page. So here we can add this to this one. But we want to use max clients, of course, and num clients. 
I can scroll down and add it to this list. Default this to zero. I will make a copy of this as well. This dot num clients equals response dot data dot account. Then I can remove this limitations like that. So if I go to clients, this is now showing because we only have two of the two clients for this this uh, team. But I still want to show the notification here if we, the limitation has been reached. So we can just paste this there. So v if and v else. Great. So now I've implemented the limitations for this project. And then the next step now is to, if we go into team, we should have a plans button here. So we can go into a plans page and subscribe or upgrade. So then the first thing I want to do is to find team.view. Or I can set, set the first task to done just so that's done. And then it's make it possible to subscribe. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. So below here, I can add a new paragraph. And then router link to, and then we want to use the name plans like that. Close this, change plan, close the router link. Remember to add a colon here. So we bind this and can use this in there. And then we save and I will probably get an error because that page doesn't exist. So we need to fix that. The new page plans.view. Then I can copy a little bit of this. Plans, close the div, close the div, close the div, close the template. And then I want a little bit of this script. I can copy all of this. And close the script tag. Rename this to plans. And we don't have any data here yet. And we can remove the content from mounted but everything else can be like this. Then we want to import this to the router. Just make a copy of one of these plans. Plans. And if we now find team, we can add the URL here. Plans. Plans. And plans. Great, so now we have this change plan button and if I click it, we will see the plans title. Now I want to list out the three plans we have available here. The free, the small and the big team. So then we can add some columns here. Div class column is four. Div class box. Then we have a subtitle in here, class uh, subtitle free, and then an h4 class is size 3, and here we can say uh, 0 dollar or dollar 0. That and I will make a few copies of this small team. The price for that I think was five dollars, oh, ten dollars, and the big team, which is twenty-five dollars per month. So when I go back here, you'll see the free, and then the small and big team. 
and then below here we can add p and say max five clients close that max five leads for the small team it's 15 clients and 15 leads and the big team i think i set uh, 50 clients and 50 leads you can change these numbers like you want it's just for testing for me now and then below this here we can add a new button button at click subscribe and then we can pass in small team subscribe close the button but we want to add a class to this class button is primary Make a copy of this big team and we can also have this on free in case you want to downgrade so save now we have the information about what the different plans gives us and the subscribe button so when we click this button we want to tell the back end that we are subscribing and then we want to be redirected to a thank you page so before I continue, I can just create that simple thank you page by copying all of this content. Create a new file called plans thank you dot view. Thank you. Then we can remove almost all of this. Thank you for subscribing to a plan. Plans, thank you. Oops, need to close that paragraph and save. And we can import this to the router so we have a place to be redirected to. Thank you. and append it after this one thank you oops like that so then i can just close the router and this page because we don't need anything more here but we need to create this functionality as well here so methods subscribe plan like that and here we want to set the and here we just want to go and copy a little bit from a different uh, view so I can copy this one just all of the get leads and paste it here then I can remove one of these I can remove the get button like that and sorry about this a little bit messy like that and set this to async so we want to set this to is loading when we go into it and remove the loading bar when we finish then we can create a data object to send to the backend const data plan plan so we pass in which plan we want to subscribe to and we don't want to get information here we want to send information so we need to use the post just to remove this teams and we want to upgrade plan and at the end here we can pass in the data object we create here so we can get the plan in the back end and when that's done we just want to redirect us back to the teams page so this.router.push dashboard slash teams but since we have uh, subscribed to new plan we also need to update the data we have in 
view x in the storage in the browser so um, just like we do on login you can just make a copy of this and go back to plans so when this is finished we can call this again and get all the information we need from the back end and then we can redirect you to the teams page so then I don't need this one like that or we can have it here and just console log it so you see that everything is okay upgraded plan and then save so just want to check here that we don't have any errors so now we just need to create this view in the back end so if you find the team app go into views and then we can say at api view here we just want to support post requests def upgrade plan request and then we want to get the team just like we do on all the other views here plan equals request dot data plan then we should get the name either free small plan or big plan or a big team print plan plan so we can see this in the console as well for the server and then we want to get the plan from the, the database so we need to import the plan here plan like that if plan equals free then plan equals plan dot objects dot get name equals free lf plan equals small team plan equals plan dot objects dot get name equals small team i think that's the name for it big team and small team yes perfect else or lf plan equals big team plan equals plan oh, dot objects dot get name equals big team so instead of using this way to get it we could add uh, for example a slug here or something so we can use uh, pass in small team like this in the database so it's easier to get but this works as well and then we can say team.plan equals plan team.save and then we just say return response and we can actually just return this data just like we do with get my team i can do this here and save so now we get all the information we need in the front end so if we go back here we can copy this content all of the content from then the response and paste it here so then we don't need to call two times to the server so that should be it i think so we can try to test this now refresh we don't have any errors and if i click this i get a method not allowed and that's because i forgot to add it to the urls file so i need to copy the name of this go to urls import it and then path teams slash upgrade plan pass it in and set the name as well and we can try again just refresh so the error is gone subscribe and i was redirected but this page doesn't exist because it's supposed to be just team and now my plan is small team and I have the max clients and max leads perfect so i just want to fix this to redirect you to the correct page 
great. So now we should just show a simple uh, toast so we know that we have changed the, the plan. Just want to copy this from a different place. There was a toast. The plan was changed like that. And we just need to import this. Sorry, import the toast to have it available like that. Save. Now we can just try to do this again. Change plan. Subscribe. The plan was changed and it's still a small team. Perfect. So if I now go to leads, the add lead button is back again. Perfect. So what's left for this task or everything is done for the day, but we still need to implement Stripe and that will be done here. So when I figure out which plan to subscribe to, we will uh, send the information to subscribe to Stripe as well. And that was it for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please click like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it below and answer as soon as I can.